people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF news video and we have a packed news video for you all today. We got Funko news, we got U2's news, Sanchi news, a whole bunch of merchandise, Ruin news, the FNAF movie news, we just got a whole bunch of stuff to take a look at in today's video. So quite frankly, let's not waste any more time, if you're brand new to the channel consider scrolling down giving that sub button a little tickle. So without further ado, let's go ahead hop right into the first topic which is a brand new t-shirt from Spencer's. Definitely not one of the most appealing t-shirts we've had, but <laughs> it's here nonetheless. We got Glamrock Freddy front and center, Five Nights at Freddy's. Written below him, he's in front of a red circle, I guess. The saturation on him is booming. Yeah, not entirely sure what is up with the exposure on this t-shirt, but it's out there in the wild if you want to go take a look for it. Moving on to some other merchandise, we got Sanchi back at it again because they're actually releasing some brand new pins. This was a photo taken at a recent convention that Sanchi was a part of, and as you can see, you can notice some brand new pins. They appear to be simple stills from the FNAF 1 cameras, they even have the UI still on the screen. So I'd assume each camera is gonna get one pin, and we can also see another box with some tickets across it. And thanks to a listing on Macari, we can actually get a closer look at these brand new pins based on tickets. And these things look absolutely fantastic, the art on them is just phenomenal. So as you can see, this is Series 1 of Sanchi's brand new prize ticket pins. They come in a blind box, and each box has a chance of getting either Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Mr. Cupcake, which is a rare one, and also a mystery character, which is super rare. Not entirely sure when these products are going to be releasing, but since they were at a convention, hopefully they do come out pretty soon. And speaking of stuff that's coming out pretty soon, we actually got a brand new Funko FNAF AR plushie, this time a Firewalk Freddy. This guy is once again another Walmart exclusive Funko product. Seems like they just love giving their FNAF AR products to Walmart, this guy is no different. Different. Honestly, he looks pretty good. I like the firework. I like the sunglasses atop his head. The colors on his fur and also the clothes are really good. And also, here's a look at his tag. So if you're interested in this brand new firework Freddy Funko plushie, maybe stay on the lookout for Walmarts. Now, what's interesting about this guy is that we had no clue he was coming out. He wasn't leaked prior, which nowadays is pretty common with Funko products. Traditionally, though, it seems like nowadays when Funko makes a plushie or figure based on FNAF AR, it seems like they're going to get a figure and a plushie. So hopefully pretty soon we can get a figure of Firework Freddy too. Moving on now to U2s. And speaking of U2s, look what came in the mail the other day. Oh, it's my Vanny headband. This is actually pretty comfy. I don't look too bad. Uh, anyways, moving on to U2s news though. They released this photo over on their Toosies Twitter account with the caption, all this talk about the FNAF movie got me hungry. And in the image, you can see what appears to be some sour gummies based on Glamrock Freddy and Vanny. Toosies, if you don't know, is kind of a side company, it seems, of U2s where they make uh, previously, they've made drinks. Seems like now they're going to make their way into candies. So pretty soon, it seems like we can get some sour candies based on some security breach characters, which is going to be very interesting. Something else that's very interesting and something I'm looking forward to very, very much are the brand new Pop Goes pins. Kane Carter announced on Twitter yesterday the official Pop Goes X U2's pin set will be available to pre-order for 14 days only, starting on the 21st of April at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's Attached is an image of all the pins within the set. You got Pop Goes, Blake, Sarah, Saffron, Stone the Crow, as well as Menorah. These pins look absolutely adorable. I cannot wait to get my hands on them. Once again, the 21st of April is when these guys release. And yesterday, U2's also released a TikTok showing off a whole bunch of brand new upcoming products. First off, the main focus, their brand new upcoming Ennard plushie. Seems like he's taken on the chibi form. He looks absolutely adorable. I don't know how they made a giant messy monster of wires like Ennard into an adorable plushie, but they did it. And in the background, you can can also make out some other upcoming U2's FNAF products. First up, you've got the upcoming Dreadbear figure releasing alongside the other Help Wanted figures later this year. It's just a better look at his box. We've taken a closer look at the box in a previous FNAF news video. But as for other plushies you can spot in this video, first up we have a Glitch Trap plushie who looks adorable as well. A lot of detail on this guy, the whiskers, the bow tie, the vest as well. The color looks spot on. Overall, this is probably going to be one of U2's best plushies for FNAF. He just looks absolutely Absolutely incredible. And finally, they also showed off a Helpy plushie who looks to be laying down a bit. He looks very, very adorable as well. No release date for any of these products just yet, but hopefully they come out pretty soon, especially that Glitch Trap one, because I gotta get my hands on him. He looks 
perfect. Moving on now to Click Team News, they released a brand new update for the mobile port of Ultimate Custom Night. The changes include revamped and improved user interface, player-defined AI is now saved, subtitles for 11 different languages, resampled graphics at a higher resolution, improved audio support, revamped vibrations, and various fixes and improvements. Something else you may have noticed in that trailer, at the very start, we could see a very strange looking room. It's simply used as a background image, but it still looks really, really interesting. It appears to be a party room with art of the FNAF 1 characters on posters. You can see a door and happy birthday banner off to the right side, the checkered pattern around the walls. Like, this looks like an official location. So a lot of people were confused, like, what the heck is even this? Is ClickTeam leaking a brand new upcoming FNAF game? Well, luckily, ClickTeam explained it a little bit, saying, To be clear, we worked with VIJ, who cooked up the following mock-up sketch. Then our new shiny in-house graphic group turned it into a 3D scene. The scene itself is a mock-up for an idea we had, and rather than waste the work, it is being repurposed for the trailer. Based on this tweet, it seems unnecessary to try and guess what they were working on, because based on the warning, it seems like it was scrapped, and now they're just going to repurpose some of it for a trailer. But it's still pretty interesting, because this looks damn good. I really hope in the future Click Team reveals a bit more about the scrapped project, because I'd love to know what it was going to be. Moving on now to some ruined news, we got some very interesting news, but you may have noticed April 6th and the 13th came and went with no news. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, not too long ago, I made a video talking about a leaked teaser that got uploaded to Security Breach TV. A lot of people were assuming it was going to be for Ruin, the upcoming DLC for Security Breach, and the site was going to be updated on the 6th and 13th of this month, because those dates could be found in the source code of the website, but those dates came and went with zero news. Why we didn't get that teaser or any news for the website on those dates, I'm not entirely sure when or even if we're gonna see it in the future, I'm also not sure. Maybe they're still testing out the site and those dates were just placeholders, but I really have no clue. I'll let you know if there are any updates, but overall, seems like we're just gonna have to wait a bit longer. Luckily, we did get a tiny bit of news on the 6th, coincidentally three minutes after the site usually updates, so that was a little suspicious. But Ray McCaffrey, the executive producer of Steelwall Studios, made a tweet with two takeaways. Number one, Ruin development is still allegedly going pretty well, saying on top of Ruin Dev, which has been going very well. Point number two, we've been super busy hiring Sauce. Please welcome the newest member of the Steelwall Studios team. Wait until y'all see what he's cooking up. If you don't know who Derailer Sauce is, you've probably seen some of his cosplays. He's an absolute freaking legend, and apparently now, according to his Twitter bio, he's also now the creature fabricator and designer at Steelwall Studios. Now, what exactly he's cooking over there with Steelwall, we're not entirely sure. We're just gonna have to wait and see. But once again, huge congrats to Sauce. You really deserve it, bro. Finally, for Ruin News, we've got a brand new branch added to the depots of Security Breach's DLC called FNAF 9 Beta Shipping, seemingly confirming that the alpha stages of the DLC are now complete and they've moved on to beta. Now what's exciting about this is that the beta stage of game development is honestly very, very close to a finished state. Usually beta entails almost the complete entirety of a game is done, the functionality is there, there's still quite a few bugs. So usually this is the stage where you test all the functionalities of the game, go through, make sure you get rid of all those bugs, which hopefully still will take quite a bit of time to do that. I'm hoping this time around they'll be more conscious about that, but one can only hope. Yeah, the beta stage is honestly very, very close to a release candidate state, so hopefully pretty soon we can get some official news. But that is actually going to do it for this FNAF news video. Originally, I wanted to cover some FNAF movie topics, but we honestly got way too many that I think I'm just going to turn it into its own FNAF news video for tomorrow. So I'm sorry to leave you hanging like that, but honestly, we got a lot of very interesting things to talk about. It really does deserve its own video. We got a leak of the pizzeria set, some brand new characters coming into the movie that I don't think anyone was expecting, some age rating info, as well as some plot details that I don't think anyone has caught on to yet. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you're excited, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on that movie news coming pretty soon. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.